UH Athletics Director David Matlin also revealed details of who helped him hire and vet the new coach. Gina Mangieri is always investigating and has those details. David Matlin tells me he turned to past players and current and past sports officials to help him make the quick pick for head coach. Friday afternoon, David Matlin and his hiring panel sat down with June Jones, hoping to get the best of both worlds, have a legendary coach back for a couple of years, with up-and-comer Timmy Chang waiting in the wings to take over. We talked to Timmy and saying, this, this is what my plan A is. Um, would you be on board with it? And he, he actually said, yes, he would be. He, he thought there was a, a lot of upside to that. The downside came quickly. Talks unraveled. Jones walked out. Who came up with plan A? Plan B and whatever else went into the rapid fire hiring process. There's a lot of people you just call and, and talk to, so a lot of ad hoc. But the, the people that were in the um, in the room were um, it was Lois Madden, my associate AD, Derek Inouye, and then Scott Chan, the former um, uh, UH uh, former Aloha State manager. Those were the three people that were uh, part, took part of the interview. You didn't mention the, uh, President Lastner at all. Was he involved ahead of the final hiring? Well, President Lastner has to approve it. So I, I, what I do is after. You know, after every couple of interviews, I, I, I talk to uh, President Lastner and update him and tell him where we're at. President Lastner was geared to come to it in case we got to the point where we we're going to offer him a deal so we could maybe finalize it right then. Last week, UH wouldn't say who was in Matlin's inner circle for hiring the coach. There were more than just the current and past officials and the unofficial influencers. Who was on your advisory group or panel? That helped you reach this, these decisions. I can tell you one. There was more than one advisory group. One, one that was in the room during the interviews, um, and then there was one in advance where there was a, a group of uh, alumni players who I'm, I'm, I'm not going to really. But they were more ad hoc. Um, that I met with. Um, I think it was six to eight, maybe seven to eight uh, players, just to talk about characteristics. Uh, people who loved the program, who played in the 2000s, um, really gave some good advice and good thoughts. UH shortened the standard 10-day minimum application window to five days to get a coach in place ahead of player recruiting deadlines. How much vetting and um, background checking and character or, or uh, um, unknown issues were able to be researched before you made the offer? Yeah, well, you know, we, 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 I actually feel like we did a lot of vetting, and, and you do that in a lot of different ways. There's, there's um, some background, there's background checks, there's background checks you do, and there's some, obviously, you talking to a lot of people. And, and like you said, Timmy was a known quantity. But we, we, we did, and you have discussions with them, you know, just, you know, what do we need to talk about? So I, I feel we did a thorough job on that. Gina Mangieri, KHON2 News, always invest.